Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Porsche Boxster. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This is a 3.4981S PDK gearbox, 2013 on a 63 plate, two owners from new, 29,531 miles at the moment, but I'm uh, going for a ride in it now, so it will have done more. Fuel economy, urban, 25.2 miles per gallon, extra urban, 45.6 miles per gallon, and combined is 35.3 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 172 miles per hour, out of a six cylinder, 311 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. We've got the daytime running lights at the bottom there, front parking sensors. The front boot, it's uh, it's it's quite a big I'll take photographs afterwards if I remember and cut them in. But you get plenty of plenty of stuff in there. Um, I, I've got a couple of camera bags in there, tripod, couple of coats and, and so on. And then of course you've also got room in the back as well. So as you don't dint the bonnet, press it down with the badge. The 10 spoke 20 inch alloy wheels, red calipers, half holding door mirrors, Got the big air scoops on the side here, of course the engine's mounted behind the, the seats. Electric boot release. There you go. That's, that's pretty big as well. I've got a, okay, a huge camera case in here and there's still plenty more room at the side here, about half as much again. Um, you can either open the, the bonnet and the boot with the key or on the driver's sill there's a little switch panel and you, you can do them both from there. There's the uh, speeding giveaway, that comes up at 70 something miles an hour I think, or you can put it manually from the, uh, in fact I'll, I'll just show you. So it's one of the things I never get tired of seeing. There you go. Rear parking sensors, just in this little skirt here, and the twin exhaust pipes, the uh, box dress exhaust, and it, it sounds fantastic, it really does. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. But first, I'm going to put the roof up because it's freezing. Just turn the fan down a bit so it's not making too much noise. I don't want to drown the engine out. Um, right, service history. Let's see which one is it. Got the right one here. Okay, 22nd of the 12th, 2015 at 9,574 miles, Porsche Centre Aberdeen. 15th of the 12th, 2017 at 16,262 miles, Porsche Centre Aberdeen. 17th of the 12th, 2019 at 23,748 miles, Porsche Centre Aberdeen. And we're going to get it done again at, uh, at, at Porsche. So it will come to you with a full... Porsche service history. While I've got the glove box open, you'll see there's a USB uh, in and an auxiliary in and also a power socket in there to charge your phone and so on. Let's just uh, 
right, so we've got height and reach adjustable steering there. That's, uh, I'm sure the old ones just used to be reach adjustable, but uh, taking nothing away. I'll, I'll put my glasses on, not because it's sunny, but because they have cameras in it. So anybody who, who, who thinks of reporting me to the police for using my phone, how you think I'm using the phone when I've got both hands on the steering wheel, what you think I'm holding it with, I don't know. It's, uh, don't bear thinking about. But uh, let's just uh, get these switched on. There we go, that's, that's them on. So, being careful getting off the car park, and just, we're all the way back here. And it's height and reach, sorry, it's height adjustable. The, the PDK gearbox, now, <laughs> I actually, in, in fact, let me just, let me just see here, photos, uh, albums, there we go, where is it, here we go, All right, so PDK stands for Porsche, get that yeah doppel couplung getribe doppel doppel couplung's getribe doppel couplung I, I can't say it anyway that translates into english as dual clutch and uh, what it means is there's two clutches in the gearbox there's one clutch for first third fifth seventh and reverse and there's another clutch for second fourth and six and uh, basically it just it just means it, it changes gear faster and because it changes gear faster it can get more power to the road so the car goes faster as if you need it to go any faster than it does <laughs> here we go I, I just get on it I'm going to wait till I get on a straight piece of the road because it's very wet today. It's very slippy. I don't want to uh, spoil this beautiful car. And it is, it's lovely inside now. I've got sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, you can use the, the PDK gearbox. You if you want, you can use it as a manual like so, changing up and down like that, back into to drive though, and you've also got a sport button. And if I click the sport button, we'll get past this rough piece of road here. If I click the sport button, it basically holds it in gear as long as possible and uh, changes gear as late as possible. So we don't want that. Here we go. Yep, that's as fast as I'm going. Now also, it's got paddle shift. And they're not flappy paddles, as Jeremy calls them. They're just little switches on the the steering wheel here and I must admit on the way up here it uh, it foxed me because a lot of cars these days they, they've got change down on the left and change up on the the right and this is well there you go that's that's changing down pulling towards you but uh, changing up is just pushing away so it's it's fantastic to drive. The, the only thing I can see at the moment, or th that I feel at the moment, is tracking's a little bit out, steering's a little bit off, but the rest of the car is absolutely beautiful. So we've got, I'll just slow down a bit. There you go, you've got power folding door mirrors. Thinking about it, 
it's probably got one of those hoods that you see people driving along the road and the hood's going down, posing. But I've got my cameras on here and the windows go down and uh, it, it'll cock the job up. So uh, it's, I won't be testing that just at the moment. If I have time, I might take the side cameras off and uh, put the roof down, give it a blast with the roof down. But that will probably destroy the audio as well. Here we are at a certain death corner. Can I hear a, a reply? No. Still don't trust it. Over on the dash here, nice clear display. Don't seem to have changed a whole lot since the old 911s in the way they set them out, but why, why should they? It's, it's perfect, except for the, uh, the analog speedo where it goes in 25 mile increments, which is a little bit useless in the UK, with the 30 mile an hour and kind of 50, and, well, I suppose 50 is all right, and 70. Um, not quite right, but you've got the advantage of the digital speedo in the centre. That's in the rev counter. And on the right hand side you have another gauge, which is basically your, either your information display. If you change it there, that's showing navigation, trip counter, oil temperature, coolant temperature, oil pressure, radio phone and that's the, that's the nav that so that shows you the you know the the moves you've got to make the, the turns you've got to take and we'll just put it on the map there Drives great. That's your uh, stop start button. So knock that off straight away unless you want to have a crash it around about. That's the rear spoiler where you can deploy it manually. That's your sport switch. And that is a skid control, I think. I can't tell whether it's off or on now. I don't want to skid. <laughs> it's amazing how you come to rely on stuff that you never had when I was younger, anti-lock brakes traction control. Listen to that engine. A little a little woof as you uh, as it changes gear. There you go. That's it. That, that's fast enough for me. Don't want to kill any animals while we're making a video. And there's locks around here. Usually pheasants just around this corner. <laughs> it's usually one stood right in the middle of the road here. Must be having a day off today. So we've got central armrest here. Lift that I can't see from my jacket. Just enough space to put your phone. Seats are nice and comfortable, built up around you. Smart car going hell for leather there. Backrest is electrically adjustable. Get 
are electric windows here, electric dormer is there, which I like to have set just so that you can see the, the haunches at the back of the car. Um, a friend of mine used to do some driving for a, a, a specialist car garage local to Preston and uh, he had to move a 911. The 911 is quite narrow but then there's these big wheel arches and he, he drove in between two cars and took both the wheel arches out. It's, these aren't quite as pronounced but still it's, it's a lovely shape and it's better now, looks better than the old Boxster shape which again is Jeremy Clarkson said looked he couldn't tell the front from the back <laughs> I think that was a slight exaggeration because I had a few and I, I've, I've loved them they are a proper sports car they feel like a proper sports car and I do like them when they've, they've not got too much stuff in them the sat nav here is quite discreet you know I've not been in any Porsches recently, any nearly new ones. Um, do you know, if, if they start putting their iPads in, it, it would make me cry. So that aluminium trim there matches the gear stick and this surround on the gear tunnel around the lights, which are over here, and your door handles. Looks really classy around the air vents. No doubt that's an extra, knowing Porsche. I'm going to put the roof down, I think, because it's quite a... It's, well, it's freezing. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's freezing and I'm an idiot for doing it but the sound of the engine and this gearbox it is absolutely seamless it, it just it just changes note you don't feel anything really just the engine just changes uh, the note slightly I mean, I mean, oh no there's a there's a there's a bit of a I'm getting carried away <laughs> there's a bit of a hump here I, I don't want to be taking off Calm yourself, Baz. It's just a, it's just a steering wheel. There's no there's no bits on it. I know they're handy. There's something just not right about being on a country lane on a sunny day with a steering wheel that's got loads of switches on it. It's just wrong. Steering's lovely. It's a discreet, not in your face colour, which I prefer. I mean, said that if it was a Lamborghini, it would, would have to be Verde Ithaca. Well, This is awesome, sounds great, drives great, looks great, <laughs> great service history. OK, 
cattle grid. Right, I'm going to put the hood down. Just get to the bottom. So you've got indicators on the left, wipers on the right, your headlamps are here. There we go. I'm just going to pull over here and see. I think. Oh, stop, start. I hate it. Right. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these off. I don't want to damage the. Don't want to damage the Porsches. Uh, doors so here we go no undoing a handle like you used to do on the old Porsches actually didn't come down that far I could have got away with it we'll leave the windows up put this back on in some sort of fashion although I doubt we're going to be anywhere near they're both still working as well that's a a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, I probably spoke too soon. The, uh, the, the car I filmed on Monday, they, uh, <coughs> it, it had only taped about two minutes and then gone off. Even though it was, I, I looked in the other cameras and it was still flashing as if it was recording. But it wasn't. So thank you, GoPro. Don't want to be going over the side there or damaging the wheels. This is lovely. There is a little bit coming up where I can just put my foot down on it. Uh, just a tad. Just so you can hear the engine noise. But just look at this. Again, the, the car was absolutely mint when I set out. The, the weather, very hit and miss at the moment. It was throwing it down before. It's a little bit sunny now, but uh, the spray on the motorway coming up. And this place is 25 mile away from the garage, or 25 to 30 miles. Just make sure it's clear around here and just boot it a little bit. Forgetting, <laughs> not, not that anybody wants to hear me talking, but you, 
just uh, enjoy the moment. And that's what it is, I suppose, if you've got, you know, if you've got a company car, you want to buy something cute that's not going to lose a lot of money and is going to give you so much enjoyment at weekends or holidays or... rather than your Vauxhall Insignia, which, don't get me wrong, great cars. But some, some cars just have a feel to them. On, on. shadow there. I saw a shadow as if there was a car coming but must have been something else. Joy to drive. Let me just switch them off because the music's starting playing through them now. There you go. Let me just pull around a little bit more. Lovely car, great to drive. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me just see if it'll go up the roof without. Yeah, we just just did it there. There you go. That's it. Roof up. Beautiful car. Thanks for watching.